Welcome to the NBA Rising Stars Challenge, a game that has become such a special... part of all-star festivities. And that's really because it, it always provides us with such an entertaining look at the next generation of, of NBA stars. In a game like this where the pressure's off and it's all about having fun, I think we really get an opportunity to see just how skilled these young players are. Exactly. I mean, nobody's going to get on top of you if you go behind your back or you try something out of the ordinary. And that means we get to see these young guys pull off some amazing plays in this game every year. Looking at the starting five for USA. Jackson is out there with Zion Williamson. Then it's Trey Young. Then there's John Morant. And it's Alexander Walker in at the three. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fans. They get it back. Clark makes it off the glass. And we haven't seen very much of him in the regular season yet. But there's no question he's got a very bright future ahead of him. I agree with all of that. Even with limited playing time, his talent has been evident. And that talent is strong enough to have earned him a spot in this game. And that says a lot considering he doesn't play a bunch for his team. Outside Jackson, the pass to Alexander Walker. Morant outside. Six to shoot. Pass to Young. A three ball. Tell you what, like with most players, when Doncic is aggressive on defense, it makes a difference and causes his coaches to smile. And here we go. Fast break. Williamson's got it. And finished off by Morant. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now, here's Doncic. Gilgis Alexander passes to Clark. Over Jackson. Goes back up. And Clark with the lay-in. Clark's got his second basket of the game. In all of his athleticism, on display there. Clark's work ethic makes him lethal on that offensive backboard. And here's Young from the arc. Good, and the nice assist from Morant. And we've got a collection of the greatest players in the world here. I mean, and playing in an event where they can really let it all hang out. And that's exactly why we always come away with such great memories. I mean, because they really do try to give the fans as many highlights as possible. And they are the best players in the world. And it's just something about the Rising Stars Challenge. It gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional careers. Here's Alexander Walker. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Scooped up. Jackson. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And I like seeing Jackson use that length on the offensive glass. You don't have to be the most physical guy when you have a wingspan like that. You brought up the big stage, these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And, and it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. Again, USA. And this team encourages Zion to be assertive inside. They know how skilled and overpowering he can be. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Barrett. Let's the three fly. Sinks the three-pointer. Well, let's say the defense being played here tonight might be a, a bit on the soft side for, from both teams. Well, I know you're not surprised, are you? I mean, fast and loose is the way this game should be played. Here's Williamson. Pass to Young. Fires the three. Rebound by Team World. Clark's got four rebounds in this game. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. And that is quickly becoming Jackson's domain. He is such a strong finisher in the paint. Now, here's Barrett. 
Good ball movement here by Team World. Clark sets a screen for Doncic. And Team World, another three. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. USA trails by three. There's the pass to Morant. Morant with the screen on Hachimura. Passes it to Young. From the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Young's got six. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Morant with it. Oh, oh, that was a strong dunk. Oh, and the crowd goes crazy after seeing that finish. Yep, a throw down. Appropriate for the occasion. That's how to get these fans revved up and excited. Sinks the triple. The defense a step slow, and you can see the results. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Now here's Williamson. Jackson finds Young. Here's Alexander Walker. Back to Young. Takes a three. Another three for USA. Not much in the way of defense being played here early on. Well, you know how it works. I mean, both teams will be conserving their energy at the defensive end until later on. That's typically how this thing unfolds. Clark and slam dunk by Clark. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. And so it's Young who brings it up for USA. There's the lob to Jackson. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Doncic with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Again, Team World good for two. I know we never see a lot of defense in these games, but tonight we're not seeing any. Simply call it a free-for-all. I mean, you want the guys to have fun out there, but it would be nice to see some effort put into the defensive end of the floor. Here's Williamson after Luka Doncic's bucket. And that one's good, Williamson. Refining the jumper will be key for Zion, especially adding a little more arc on his jumper. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander on the wing, Doncic. Clark sets a screen for Doncic. And the rejection by Jackson! Young finds Jackson. Young outside. There's the three. Rebound by Team World. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Hachimura the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Now, here's Barrett. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Clark sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. Just four to shoot. Morant with some nice D. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Now, here's Barrett following the miss by John Morant. Nails the baby hook. And Team World leads by two. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Morant with it. Picked up by Barrett. Basket good. And now the first time out called here for Team World. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
big group substitution here for Team World. Mo Wagner's checked in for Brandon Clark. Lamb comes in for Hachimura. Akogi's checked in for R.J. Barrett. And Mikhailuk's subbed in for Luka Doncic. And then for USA, Sexton comes in for Alexander Walker. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Young. Moran's gotten three of his four shots to fall, hitting 75%. Williamson against Lamb. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Back to Lamb. Down to five on the shot clock. And the three off target. Sexton kicks to Morant. Pass to Graham. Lets it go with a three. Offensive rebound. The second chance effort. Jackson misses. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Driving in. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. And a three-level score. That time, SGA takes it all the way. Graham, the pass to Morant. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. On offense, here's Team World. Here's Mikhailuk. He has yet to score. Pass to Okogi. Team World needs to get off a shot. And that one's good, Wagner. You know, of all the things Okogi does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. Now, here's Sexton. Jackson dishes to Morant. Williamson, the pass to Morant. Fader on the way, and it's in off the backboard. Morant's got eight points. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Here's a Kogi, defended by Sexton. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Hits the three-point bomb. He has seven. Well, this is why SGA is a focal point of this offense, because of that ability to score. Now Morant. Eight points for him. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. To the left wing. Here's a Kogi, defended by Sexton. And the basket by Akogi. Now it's a seven-point team world lead. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Morant. And no good. They hold the early advantage on the glass. Yeah, nothing major. Not a huge advantage, but certainly a good sign for them going forward. Here's a Kogi, defended by Sexton. For three, a Kogi. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. He kicks it to Morant. From past the arc. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer, Peter. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close a quarter. Talk about lifting up a team and energizing them at the end of a quarter. A three at the buzzer, that'll do it. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. Team World out in front, leading by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. And it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. Yeah, a little light on the fouls in terms of what's been called tonight. 
And, and that's usually the theme in this game. I agree. I mean, the guys always play reasonably hard, but they don't necessarily play physically, if that makes any sense. The officials' jobs are usually pretty easy in this one. On the court for USA, they've got Trey Young. P.J. Washington is out there with Kendrick Nunn. Then there's Colin Sexton, and it's Graham in its shooting guard. Good to see Sexton knock it down from deep. A shot he needs to add to his arsenal. Doncic finds Lamb. Wagner has green on Graham. It's tipped. Here's Lamb. Tries again. And that one's good, Wagner. And Team World leads by five. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Young. Good. Nice job down low. And now that's 11 points for Trey Young. You know, fleshing out his attack a little more. Young showing more of a willingness to go in there amongst the trees. Shots good by Alexander Walker. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. And Young kicks to Graham. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Young, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Lock at six. Three-pointer. Graham. Another three for USA. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. The pass to Alexander Walker. Out to Lamb. Jacks up a three. And Team World, another three. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Outside, Sexton. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Young. Again, USA. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You, you want to see more passing from him. Outside Lamb. Trying to find Wagner and gets it to him. Out of bounds. It'll be USA's ball. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for USA. Trey Mann comes in for Devontae Graham. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Here's Mann. Passes it to Sexton. It's Young on the wing. Over Doncic. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Young. Yeah, and we tend to focus on the outside shooting with Young, but his in-between game is just as lethal. Here's Alexander Walker. Wagner outside. Here's Lamb. A three-pointer, no good. That's excellent defense right there on the perimeter. Pass to Young. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Lamb. Right side, Sexton. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Alexander Walker. They set the pick. Down low. And finished off by Wagner. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do there. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Washington with a screen on Lamb. Passes it to Mann. Five to shoot. The three. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. Team World leading by six. Up top, Doncic. Defended by Young. Doncic going to work. And he's 
the main reason they have the lead right now. He's been perfect from the field, literally. Young outside. Pass to man. Over in the corner, Washington. Here's the teardrop. That's tipped. Now, here's Doncic. 14 points for him. Wagner with it. Here's Lamb. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Pass to man. And here's Young. Washington sets the pick for Young. So timeout called here, the first for USA. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. A big group substitution here for Team World. Clark, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. Hachimura comes in for Lamb. R.J. Barrett's checked in for Josh Shakogi. And Shea Gilgis-Alexander subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And then for USA, Zion Williamson's checked in for Colin Sexton. And it's John Morant in for Trey Mann. Here's Alexander Walker. Barrett covering. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Alexander Walker. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by USA. You know, they don't score on that shot, but they're going to be happy with those kinds of possessions. Morant passes to Young. Washington sets the pick for Young. Back to Morant. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Team World leading by six. To the paint. And there's Gilgis Alexander. That's good on the assist by Barrett. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. Alexander Walker passes to Morant. Inside. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Boy, an excellent passer for a big man. P.J. Washington's floor awareness, impressive. The pass to Hachimura. Here's Doncic. It's good for the seventh time this game. He's shot seven. He has made seven. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the inside. And then Washington with the dunk. Boy, we're going to see lots of those. Washington can really get up. He's got a little main streak in him, too, which I like. Passes to Doncic. Fires from deep. Offensive rebound. Hachimura misses the layup. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. And Young kicks to Washington. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. 
Washington with the screen on Doncic. Just five on the clock. And so it looks like it's still a USA's ball. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And, you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. And Team World making a change here. Wagner's checked in. Sexton, he's checked in for USA. Kept alive. That one's in there. The Team World lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Washington. Well, I tell you, you look at Washington's motor and his effort, a lot to like about both. I mean, he uses his length and instincts to do a good job on the glass. Now here is Hachimura. Clark sets a screen for Gilgis Alexander. No good from Clark. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. Sexton dishes to Morant. Shoots over Wagner. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut down to just two points in the bucket from Morant. I like how aggressive Morant is on offense as well as how dangerous he can be from the mid-range. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Nine points in the game so far. And finished off by Wagner. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Sexton following the bucket by Team World. Low block shot. The shot is good off the backboard. Washington's got his third basket of the night. A physical player when he gets close to the rim. Washington wasn't going to be denied of the bucket there. Gilgis Alexander passes to Barrett. Good ball movement here by Team World. Pass to Wagner. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Drills it from outside. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 in the game. I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Moran finds Williamson. Now, here's Sexton. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got his fourth assist in this one. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. 12 points for him. And he had a good look, and Gilgis Alexander made it pay off. USA trails by four. Pass to Morant. Morant with the screen on Clark. And there's the pass to Sexton. It's three-pointers off the mark. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Now, Gilgis Alexander. After Colin Sexton's three-pointer that didn't go. Oh, that's too smooth. I mean, Gilgis Alexander with some clever playmaking there. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for USA. Six-point game. Washington with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And it's Washington missing. But Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. And that one's good, Gilgis Alexander. Well, the defense not doing a good job at all of getting after him. They've got to crowd him and make it tough for him. That's his second this quarter. Passes it to Washington. He dishes it to Morant. Shot to stop the run. Man. Oh, my. What a play. Uh -huh. Are we seeing some high-flying efforts tonight or what? Are we ever? I mean, they're doing some major damage to those rims. And here is Gilgis Alexander. 17 points in the game. Four seconds left. And he gets the jumper to drop. Gilgis Alexander's got the lead up to nine now for Team World. Uh, the classic combo guard. Gilgis Alexander is effective in the two-man game, especially on that first option, taking it himself. Shea Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on display for Team World.
He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Welcome back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. They've got Barrett, Rui Hachimura out there with Mo Wagner. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Doncic in at the two-guard spot. And, and not as many turnovers as, as we often get in this game so good to see both teams taking care of the ball yeah it really is I mean surprisingly very well controlled for the most part sometimes things get a little wild out there but not so here and for USA they've got John Morant Jackson is out there with Williamson and it's young and it's Alexander Walker in at the small forward position Jackson and Jackson throws it down hard what agility there look how quick Jackson moves after setting the screen perfect execution now Gilgis Alexander here's Doncic and foul on the shot so he'll get a chance at the line yeah how about the body control on that one narrowly misses getting the deuce boy he had a nice look at it after drawing the foul boy would have been nice to get an and one there And the first one at the line is good. Luka Doncic is a superstar in this league, and he continues to build on what is going to be some kind of resume when it's all said and done. Has every tool that you need to have to be an MVP one day. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Team World. Oh, 
All three throws good from Doncic. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Gilgis Alexander against Morant. Young's shot is off. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Gilgis Alexander finds court. And the dunk by Hachimura. And guys, we talk all the time about making the extra pass. Clark there proving how important that concept is. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. And I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. He misses the free throw. Nearly automatic. Gilgis Alexander, no slouch from the line. And he sinks the second. USA trails by 14. Pass to Morant. Williamson outside. Morant sets a screen for Williamson. Pass to Young. Left side Jackson. Six on the shot clock. Lays it up off the glass. Jackson's got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Doncic dishes to Clark. And the rejection by Jackson. Alexander Walker passes to Morant. Out to the wing. No one near him. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Team World leading by 12. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And the pass to Doncic. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists tonight. USA trails by 14. Williamson outside. USA moving the ball around. Jackson from long range. Scored the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Team World. They've led by as many as 14 points. Now, here's Doncic. He's got 22. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. That one's in there. The Team World lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Morant. Gilgis Alexander with it. He's picked up by Morant. Doncic kicks to Gilgis Alexander. It's Barrett on the wing. And Team World another three. Well, the numbers show it. R.J. Barrett much more comfortable shooting from the corner. Morant outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Team World leading by 14. Here's Clark. It's hauled in by USA. Jackson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Hachimura finds Gilgis Alexander. Out of bounds, it'll be USA's ball.
Here's Young. He's got 15. Passes it to Morant. Morant with the screen on Hachimura. Pass to Young for three. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got his fifth assist in this one. Oh, great look there. Young off a pass will normally knock those down. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's got 20. Clark and slam dunk by Clark. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. The USA calls time here. Wagner's checked in for Hachimura. to Alexander Walker. Here's Williamson. Young in the corner. There's the triple. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. Williamson's got his sixth assist on the night. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And able to get himself to the line SGA so crafty inside there to get the contact and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for team world they've been playing some really physical offense just attacking the paint as much as possible and I tell you what they have been very successful with that strategy and another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing on target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight Gilgis Alexander hits them both. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. And, and guys, I think it's exactly the right thing to do with the lead. Keep going at defenders and find a way to get yourself to the line. Here's Alexander Walker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Gilgis Alexander. USA shooting their first free throws of this game. And the first one drops. Yeah. 
so he gets them both. Here's Doncic. 24 points for him. Kicks it to Barrett. Dishes it to Clark. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Barrett with a screen on Jackson. Five on the clock on the wing, Doncic. He's feeling it. Team World with another miss. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Morant with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Young with no one around. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Young's got it back down to single digits for USA. Young against Gilgis Alexander. The pass to Wagner. And they call an illegal screen here. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Sexton, he's checked in for USA. Now, here is Young. He's got 23. Morant passes to Williamson. Morant with the screen on Clark. Passes it to Young from deep. Another three for USA. He made three triples in the first half, three more since then. I tell you what, you can't shake your head at that. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Here's the screen. Doncic outside. This one for three. And Doncic with the triple. And no player in the league has done more to earn his spot in this game than he has. I mean, he's having a terrific season. He sure is. Excellence on a consistent basis for him. I mean, he's been their rock all year. Pastor Williamson takes the three. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got rebound number five here tonight. Good ball movement here by Team World. No one near Doncic as he lets it fly. Off target from outside. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Morant scanning the floor. There's the pass to Williamson. He kicks it to Sexton. USA needs to get off a shot. The three from Morant. Sexton, it's rebounded by Barrett. And Barrett has got the ball here for Team World. They've led by as many as 14 points. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. That is no basket. That's number three. He has made 11. Pass to Morant. Young outside, beyond the arc. Good, and the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got three assists now in this one. Team World leading by five. And Team time World out, time calls out. time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Team World making some changes. Akogi's checked in for Brandon Clark. 
Alexander Walker comes in for R.J. Barrett. And Mikhail Luke's subbed in for Luka Doncic. P.J. Washington, he's checked in for USA. Devontae Graham comes in for Zion Williamson. it loose and stolen by Graham and Moran throws it down great anticipation by Graham gets them in transition he plays with such a high basketball IQ fun to watch pass to Alexander Walker Wagner outside no good from outside hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down no defender in sight Sexton kicks to Morant, and they double up Morant. Sexton for three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. USA trails by three. They set the screen and finished off by Morant. And we all know Jaws' capability to fill it up, and he is showing it here tonight. To the middle, here's Mikhailu, and he jams it after taking the nice feet on the run. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. And they double up Morant. The offensive rebound, Sexton, and the layup's good off the glass. Sexton's got his third bucket of the night. And the muscle of Sexton, outstanding at just working through the contact and finding a way to finish. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Here's Alexander Walker. Knocks down the three ball. Alexander Walker's got six points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Young is double. Graham inside the line. Rebound by Team World. Wagner's got six rebounds here tonight. Akogi, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wagner. And finish off by Wagner. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. Sexton up top. Eight points for him. Back to Young. Three-pointer. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Sexton. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Gilgis Alexander against Young. Crafty move. And Gilgis Alexander with the nice bucket inside. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now this quarter. Three-pointer, Graham. That one doesn't go. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Team World. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. A night none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. So it's USA now, trailing by five. They've got Wagner, and it's a Kogi in at the four spot. Floats it up for Williamson. 
And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Sexton. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Team World. They've led by as many as 14 points. All alone. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. Doncic has got 13 points in the second half. Outside, Sexton driving inside, and it's in there. And he is just an explosive athlete. Sexton not at all phased by the contact. Pass to Alexander Walker. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Now here's Sexton. The dish to Williamson. Kicks it to Young. Now the pass to Sexton. Shot clock at six. Washington, that's good. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And Team World, another three. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Now, here's Sexton. Here's Williamson. It's rebounded by Mikhailu. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. So it's USA now, following the bucket by Team World. And good that time. And there's no question he was going to be playing in this game because as far as a first or second year player goes, he's about as impactful as any in the league. That's exactly right. I mean, he's quickly become one of his team's most important players. For most guys, that can take years, but it's happened really fast for him. Here's Alexander Walker. Zion Williamson making his last shot. That shot wide open. Alexander Walker's got five points in the quarter. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but buckets in this one. Boy, the points really accumulating from three-point range. He had nine from distance in the first half, and he seems to only be getting better. Here's a Kogi. There's the pick. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Boy, savvy play that time from Okogie. Drew the foul and still managed to get the shot free. And he knocks down the first one. Well, you know, Okogi has quickly proven himself to be a dynamic player. He flies around the floor looking for ways to help out his team at both ends, which is quite impressive for a young guy like him. R.J. Barrett's checked in for Mikhailuk. And then for USA, Sharon Jackson comes in for Washington. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Young. And good on the second, so he makes them both. USA trails by six. Graham with the ball. Williamson outside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And that's grown man muscle. Williamson relishes any chance he gets to take the defense on and finish. One shot.
and that one misses. And you know what makes Zion so much fun is that I don't think there's a comp for him. Uh, the combination of power and skill, you throw in that he's a lefty, and we've never seen someone like him in the league. Now, Williamson, after R.J. Barrett's three-pointer that didn't go, and out of bounds as Team World gains possession. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Passes to Alexander Walker. There's a screen. Team World with another miss. And so Graham will bring it up for USA. Four-point game. Pass to Williamson. Here's Jackson. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. Greg, their offensive approach has been rock solid here. And they're finding the weak spots in the D and attacking them. A shot by Sexton, no good. Jackson against Barrett. Here's a Kogi. And they double up Doncic. Launches a three. The shot's good from Alexander Walker. Alexander Walker's got eight points in the quarter. Luke is so smart to get other guys involved in the action. Very good at not forcing it and trying to do everything himself. Pass to Sexton. USA moving the ball around. Williamson, the pass to Alexander Walker. Just five to shoot. Sexton for three. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Here's a Kogi. Back to Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. It always seems like Doncic is playing with something to prove. Well, I'll tell you what. He's proving plenty tonight. The pass to Williamson. Graham surveying the floor. Passes it to Williamson. Here's Alexander Walker. Three-pointer. Graham. Another three for USA. And, you know, guards that are small like Graham, he's only 6'1". I think they've got to knock down threes, and great work from him right there. Doncic, and he converts the layup. Doncic has got 17 points here in the second half. Well, he's demanding the ball. He wants it, and he's coming through. I mean, you can see why his teammates trust him down the stretch, guys. The USA calls time here. Team World making some changes. Clark, he's checked in for Mo Wagner. Hachimura comes in for Josh Akogi. And Shea Gilgis Alexander subbed in for Nikhil Alexander Walker. And then for USA, Morant, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. Young is subbed in for Devontae Green. USA trails by three. And here's Morant. Jackson with the screen. Here's Sexton. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by USA. 
Williamson's got six rebounds in the game. And you have to admire how hard Zion plays. It makes defenders nervous and forces them to overcommit. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Williamson. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Trey Young. And both free throws good for Williamson. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. Anjic passes to Gilgis Alexander. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got four assists in the game. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Morant with it. He's picked up by Doncic. Outside, Sexton. Back to Morant. Six on the shot clock. Here's Williamson. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a five for eight clip. And, and you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. Gilgis Alexander against Sexton. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And USA gets called for the foul. Trey Young, he's checked in for USA. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now here's Morant. Out to the right wing. Here's Alexander Walker. Here at covering. A shot by Alexander Walker. No good. Here's Gilgis Alexander. An easy two points on the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got eight points in the quarter. In the fourth quarter, he's gone three or four. And they've really needed that efficiency. Morant with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. The three for Doncic. It's hauled in by USA. Williamson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. He dishes it to Morant. There's the lob for Jackson, an emphatic LU jam. And how about the hands on Jackson? Makes a good target on that frame and then able to finish off the LU. -oop. Now here is Hetchimura. Donchich outside. It's a tough one. Hey, some guys, when they're focused and locked in, doesn't matter who's defending. Doncic, clearly one of those guys. Up top, Morant. He'll just Alexander cover it. That one's in there. The team world lead is cut back down to five points in the make from Morant. Morant against Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. Here's Doncic. It's hauled in by USA. And, and that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody's guarding you. Pass to Alexander Walker. Good. And the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got five assists tonight. Well, Morant's acrobatics often get the attention, but his passing is also elite. Now, here's Clark. Hachimura finds Barrett. There's the drive, and the shot goes down. 
And Team World leads by four. And, you know, that's what the scouts have always loved about Barrett, that alpha mentality and his ability to rise to the occasion. Grant, it counts, and the foul. That one on Gilgis Alexander. No stranger to big moments. Morant wants to be the man to take and make the big shot. Good from Morant. Guys, that was critical. I mean, that's what we're used to seeing out of him, though, at moments like this. Clark, a screen on Morant. Bounce pass from Gilgis Alexander. Here's Doncic. The offensive rebound. And Barrett swings it in. Man, sometimes it feels like Barrett wants it more than anyone else on the floor. Jackson, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And it's Morant missing. Team World leading by three. Gilgis Alexander passes to Doncic. 105 left in the fourth quarter of this one. That three off the mark. And here's Morant. He'll bring it up for USA. And then Morant slams it in to say the decibel level just rose about 300% in here. Certainly sounds like it. I mean, there's nothing these fans love to see more than highlight real dunks, and that one certainly qualifies. Now, here's Doncic. Trifecta! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. The USA calls time here. They're trailing by four. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's USA now, trailing by four. No one near Williamson as he lets it go. A three-pointer off the mark. And now we've got the intentional foul. There's 31 seconds left in the game. And they go to the intentional foul. Drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Yeah. 
so he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, time out, time out. this lead will be safe. The USA calls time here. They're down by six. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Morant. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. And this is active defense. Gilgis Alexander hustling to alter that shot. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. First free throw is good, and that puts them up by five. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. No time to waste on this possession. Got to go right up with it and then foul immediately. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And going up strong inside demonstrates confidence. Morant not afraid to get physical. He's able to hit the second one, and that brings them within five. There's 14 seconds left here in the fourth quarter, and he commits the intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. the first and that increases their lead to six second one is good we both at the line and it's a seven point game and young kicks to williamson puts up a three rebound by team world now Doncic. So we see Team World get the win here. I can't say enough about how well all these young men competed here tonight. A great show for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight. And we're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone.